In today's Ask Dr. Oz Prevention Clinic, I'm taking you on a head-to-toe journey on cancer prevention. The next stop on our journey is the colon. Now, I'm here with Naomi. Thanks for joining us, Naomi. You're what's welcome. Your, what's your question? Dr. Oz, my question for you is, I'm a four-year colon cancer survivor, and I recently had another colonoscopy done. Yes. They found inflammation in my body, and I, my question is, what can I do to prevent cancer from coming back, and what can I do about the inflammation? So if I can talk to everybody, inflammation to me is very concerning because it irritates cells. Mm -hmm. Let me show you a quick animation about why in the colon in particular might be an issue. So come on over with me. Let's take a little trip down here. So this is a, an image of what the colon looks like, that big red structure on the outside. The intestines, the small intestines are in the middle. Let's zoom in here and we'll look at this colon. If you do that, you'll notice that inside the colon, uh, you've got all kinds of things happening, but it, fundamentally it's all about the lining, which is made up of very little cells like this. They're like little hairs twiddling back. When you get cancer like that, that big red area beginning to grow massively in the fast, it's out of control, it's sociopathic, it's fighting back, and those cells begin to grow larger. And by the time it gets this big on colonoscopy, mm -hmm. we can see it, we can snip it, and it's out of there. But as this gets larger and larger, this polyp begins to change, mm -hmm. becomes more invasive, angry, frustrated, mean looking. That's cancer. Mm -hmm. See, it begins to invade as it grabs and claws its way into the rest of the intestinal tract, and as it does all that, now you're dealing with an invasive cancer. And once the cells from that cancer, that used to be nicely hidden in the polyps, begin to escape, it becomes a big problem for us because now it's beginning to escape into the lymph nodes, into the bloodstream, goes up to your liver, your brain, and a lot of other places. Mm -hmm. So David, inflammation is something that I know you deal with a lot. That's how you beat cancer. If you've had it, it's how you prevent it in the beginning. Talk a little bit about how you can lower the risk of cancer with that. Well, one of the ways to lower inflammation in the colon specifically is to cut down on eating red meat. You see, part of our uh, diet in, the, in America consists of eating a lot of, of red meat. Um, and we know that it stimulates this inflammation in the colon. We should be eating about 80% vegetables and a little bit of meat aside or on top of it to add taste if we like it. Okay. But it isn't necessary. Uh, and if we were to do that, then the, the good uh, plant-based chemicals in the vegetables will help reduce the inflammation, and you wouldn't be putting fuel on the fire all the time with, with that red meat. Wow. Yeah, especially, Thank you. especially in the colon, because it takes a long time for the meat to get digested. Mm -hmm. It doesn't move through the way, for example, fiber does. So it hangs out in toxins that may be coming out as of, of the food as it gets naturally digested. H hang out and cause all those problems. The other thing is if you've got risk of cancer in your family, especially, but maybe for everybody, an aspirin a day because it actually reduces some of the inflammation that we think is linked to this. Okay. Fair enough? Fair enough. Thanks for the question. Thank you. Good. Good. Now, as we make our way to the toes, our next stop in cancer prevention is the ovaries. There they are. And we've got Laura jo in Akron, Ohio, who's joining us via Skype. Hey, Laura, how are you? Hi, Dr. Oz. I'm fine, thank you. What's your question? Uh well, I have had ovarian issues, which makes me nervous for my daughter. What can be done to prevent or reduce my daughter's chances of getting ovarian cancer? Thank you for the question. We got a world expert here, huh? Dara, take it away. Something you deal with a lot of times, you know, female tumors. So what would you say to folks who are worried about ovarian cancer and how to prevent them? Well, ovarian cancer is one of the things that we just don't understand, but we do know that there is a lot of genetic disposition for people who have ovarian cancer. So what I would recommend is for you to consider having genetic testing for your daughters. We do know some good information. There's turmeric. Uh, turmeric is the, the yellow powder that we find in, in curry. Uh, we found that in the lab, it actually kills specifically ovarian cells, so it's worth a try. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining You're us. Welcome.